Meanwhile, several protesters showed up in the streets of Okra in Ohio on Sunday after the release of a video of the police shooting Jalen Walker, a black man who was accused of a possible traffic violation on the 27th of June. A police statement released after the shooting explains that the deceased behaved in a manner that made the police believe that he was a deadly threat. Authorities say they don't know the exact number of bullets fired at the man, but medical examination reports show that he had 60 bullet wounds. The eight police officers involved in the shooting have been placed on paid administrative leave until the investigation is over. Police body cameras show a person in a ski mask getting out of the car and running towards a car park chased by officers for about 10 seconds before they opened fire. What we are collectively calling for is peace this afternoon. It's the same thing Mr. Walker's family is calling for, and it's the ask of everyone standing here with me in the community. We do not know the exact number of rounds that were fired. Again, this is something that BCI will discover in their examination of evidence. However, based on the video, I anticipate that number to be high. A lot of rounds were fired, and I will not be surprised if the number at the end of the investigation is consistent with the number that has been circulating in the media. But right now, we just don't know.